anyone, uh, or everyone, anyone bothering to listen, I'm tired. Anyway, uh, I was asked to give my tips for writing a novel by Trip Ainsworth or uh, Trip's Writing Room on Instagram, at Trips with two Ps, Writing Room. You should check him out. He's really great. Anyway, uh, so my tips, what I do, my process, my first draft is always handwritten. I know it's weird. I don't care. <laughs> it's how I am creative. After that, you know, the whole process of getting your butt physically in a chair and writing your book is really important. Obviously you need to have an idea, but I'm a nerd. I have a lot of ideas. I've been entrenched in fantasy novels and movies and video games and the like since I was a wee child. Anyway, uh, yeah, so write it all down. Get it out of your brain. And then, my favorite thing to say is edit until you cry and then edit ten times more. Those are my editing tips. Edit until you make yourself cry from being overwhelmed and frustrated and just wondering why you're torturing yourself. And then do it ten more times. And if you're lucky enough, like I am, to have friends and family that will give you some editing advice, thanks mom, then, um, then ask them to help you because cause then you cry less. Because for me, the, the getting the first draft out, that takes a long time, but the editing, oh dear God, that, that to me takes longer and I think it does for most writers out there. So yeah, and edit, 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 for the love of God, edit your work. Especially because as most of us out there who are there are so many talented authors out there. I read a lot of independent authors who are immensely talented, who broke their backs trying to get a book deal and, you know, traditionally published and everything, which I'm still trying for. But it's because they didn't have the right connections or the right amount of money or whatever, even though they're ridiculously talented, nobody gave them a shot. So yeah, uh, prepare to self-publish and learn how to market on social media huge part of it. If you want your book to be read, even if you don't want to bake, 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 bake a huge success. Make a huge success of your work. If you're not looking to be terribly monetarily successful, but you still want people to read your stuff, and you're still going to have to learn how to market yourself, and you're still going to have to learn how to do all of the things that are annoying. <laughs> Though social media is not so bad. And social media marketing, particularly for independence, I feel is the most productive way to do it. I also say join a writing group. That's another tip I have. I am a member of the Carnegie Writers Group, though I like to call us the Carnegie Writers Guild because I think it sounds a lot cooler. I love you guys, but just, you know, FYI, name change, maybe. Guild, yes. Anyway, uh, yeah. Being a member of a writer's group is phenomenal. Not only can you share your work and get feedback on certain things, but you get a lot of ideas. There's, and you get a lot of connections. You get people who have already self-published. You can help you through that process. You get people who maybe they have an agent or a traditional publisher or who knows, or you just make some really amazing friends, which I have done, you know, all of the above. I've made some wonderful connections with people. I have learned a lot from these other people and their experiences. And I have made some wonderful friends with people that I, I, I never would have met otherwise because we just don't travel in the same circle. I, I am now friends with a man who is known as the man with more lives than a cat. He survived in the tundra after a plane crash for days. <laughs> like, it, Wayne is awesome, just to... But anyway, that's that's pretty much it. Yeah, so write the novel first and foremost. Get it out of your brain. First draft, just get it out of your brain. Stop overanalyzing. Your first draft is your first draft. The first draft of everything, if anything is shit, as per Ernest Hemingway, and he's right. Just write it down. And then, and then that's it. <laughs> that's it. Then, then you can go back and you can edit, 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 edit edit, 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 I, like five dozen times. And then by the time you're tired of your own work, and that's it. So yeah, that's, that's my, that's how I write a novel. And ridiculous amounts of tea.
so much tea. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.